Heavenly Father is saying to you today, Beloved child, you are not defined by your past. You are defined by my love for you, by my plans for you, and by the redemption that is yours through my Son. Do not let the mistakes of yesterday steal the hope of tomorrow. I have already redeemed your past, and I am preparing you for a future that is filled with my blessings. Hope, my child, for the days ahead are bright. Redemption is not just a one-time event. It is an ongoing process in your life. Each day, I am renewing you, transforming you, and drawing you closer to me. And one day, you will stand before me, complete and whole, reflecting the fullness of my glory. Until that day, Walk in the confidence of my love, knowing that you are redeemed, restored, and made new in me. Let hope be the light that guides you, the strength that carries you, and the promise that sustains you. For I am the God of hope, and in me you will find all that you need. Like this message, if you believe omnipotent God, God claims, save your greatest attempts to see my skin. I'm in constant contact with you. I have to find you in order for you to hear my voice. Above everything else, anything that surpasses your desires turns into an idol. You erase me from your consciousness when you're determined to get your way. Speak with me about it rather than pursue a goal with all of your might. Allow my presence to shine on this endeavor so that you may view it from my viewpoint. If it aligns with my plans for you, I will assist you in achieving the goal. If it is not in line with my will for you, I will progressively alter your heart's desire. Prioritize seeking me and everything else will fall into place, piece by piece. I'm guiding you up the hill road, however there are both climbs and descents. Snow-covered peaks may be seen in the distance, sparkling in the intense sunlight. It's admirable that you want to achieve those peaks, but you can't cut corners. It is your responsibility to follow me and let me guide the way. Remain near me while you allow the heights to draw you forth. Learn to put your trust in me, even when something goes wrong. Your dependence on me is shown by disruptions to your routine. Believing that challenges are to be welcomed offers blessings that greatly exceed all of them. Together, let's stroll through this day together. I have meticulously planned every step of the process. Trust never wavers. As the trail becomes steep and rough, inhale the rich currents of my presence and grasp my hand firmly. We can succeed as a team. Take a mindful approach to today of who is the boss. Keep in mind that I am the one who plans your day and the things that happen in your life. On days when everything proceeds as planned and without incident, you might not be aware of my sovereign presence. Keep an eye out for me the days your plans go awry. I might be taking on a significant task that is very different from what you had anticipated. Maintaining contact with me at these times is crucial, and I must understand that my approach is superior to yours. Avoid attempting to decipher what is going on. Just have faith in me and please accept my gratitude in anticipation of the positive outcome. I am aware of my intentions for you, and they are sound. Come to me with an open mind and a desire to change. A walk on the close side of me is a life of constant novelty. Type Amen if you trust in Lord. As you begin a new year, do not hold onto outdated practices. Rather, approach my face with an open mind, understanding that your journey with me will involve mental renewal and transformation. I'm paying close attention to you, so keep that in mind when you think about me. I can look at you steadily because my attention span is limitless. I fully understand and am aware of you. I'm thinking of you with unending love. I am also aware of my intentions for you, which include giving you hope and a future, as well as prospering, rather than harming you. Totally commit to this journey of being more aware of my presence. Ask me a lot of times as you go through today. It is possible to pray continuously, as the Apostle Paul taught using this practice. The ideal strategy, if you're serious about learning to pray constantly, 
is to give thanks to me in every circumstance. All your other prayers can be built upon the strong foundation these grateful prayers offer. Additionally, having a grateful mindset facilitates communication. Kate with me. There is no time for worry or whining when your thoughts are filled with thanking me. Negative thought patterns will progressively wane if you regularly practice gratitude. Bring your thankful heart to me, and my presence will envelop you in bliss and tranquility. Watch out for any work you do for God that leads you astray or permits you to do so. Many Christian authors revere their creations. Working Christians should solely be concerned with focusing on God. The freedom God grants His child will therefore mean that all other boundaries in life, mental, morale, or spiritual, are totally free. That is, a worshiping child, not a wayward worker who lacks the serious controlling emphasis of concentration on God, is likely to become unduly burdened by His has no freedom in his body, mind, or spirit. He is a slave to his own limitations. He thus experiences defeat and burnout. There is absolutely no joy or freedom in life. God's blessing is unable to settle on him because of how overwhelmed his nerves, intellect, and heart are, however. The converse is also true when we focus on God then all of our life's boundaries are free and solely under His authority. You are not held accountable for the work anymore. Your only duty is to ensure that you remain in close communication with God and that nothing prevents you from cooperating with Him. The things that once held your life down are no longer there, and the freedom that follows purification is the freedom of a child. However, Take care to keep in mind that your freedom is reserved for you to devote yourself fully to your co-worker. We don't have the authority to determine our position in the universe, or what God is preparing us for God is the engineer of all things, and our one wherever he places us giving our one, wherever he places us giving our, lives to him in that specific work, should be our ultimate goal. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might is the saying that goes along with it. Be not shocked by the ferocious assaults on your thoughts. Do not let discouragement to creep in when you find it difficult to find me and to live in my peace. From a spiritual standpoint, you are involved in heavy fighting. The devil detests your connection with me, and his demonic underlings are out to ruin our relationship. Type, thank you God, if you love God. In the midst of a conflict, invoke my name and say, Jesus, help me. That's when I take over the war. All you have to do is have faith in me while I defend you, while I defend you. When used appropriately, my name has boundless power, bless and shield. When my name is announced at the end of time, every knee will bow in heaven, on earth and beneath the earth. Who has made use of Jesus of poor quality expletive will land horribly on that fantastic day. However, there will be an immense and magnificent joy for everyone who has approached me by speaking my name with trust. As you wait for my return, this is your greatest hope. What self perception do you have? Do you find yourself mired in the analogy? I saw and cycle by perceiving those around you as more attractive or successful, more gifted, more committed, more spiritual, and more beneficial to God. It's quite risky to compare yourself to other people because God created you uniquely, just the way He intended. It's actually disrespectful to God in addition to being dangerous for you. Are you implying that when He created you, He was ignorant of His own actions? Do you believe that he was not as skilled or that he made some mistakes? That's how your comparisons appear to be, correct? The kind heart of God knew you before you were born. You are. You are who you are and what you do is because of him. Are you unique from the people around you? Indeed, do you not measure up to those all around you? No, never doubt God's design. Honor the way he created you. Develop your abilities and strengths. Stay receptive to his plan and its direction for your life. Accept some risks and watch how they help you grow and open up new avenues for serving him. 
Make the most of who you are for all of eternity. And even beyond it, you are mine. Nothing can take away your heavenly inheritance from you. I want you to know how completely safe you are. I promise not to let go of your hand, no matter how many times you stumble as you navigate life. It can set you free to live lavishly in the now, knowing that your future is 100 certain. I have given great care and attention to detail in preparing this day just for you. Rather than viewing the day as a blank slate that you must fill out, consider living it in a responsive manner and keeping an eye out for everything. I do. Although it seems simple, this calls for a high degree of trust since you know that my way is ideal. Instead of using your love to relate to others, learn to use mine. Your human love is incredibly finite, rife with manipulation and imperfections. I am always surrounding you with my loving presence, which is accessible to benefit you and others. Rather than exerting more effort to assist others with your meager resources, recognize that you always have access to my boundless supply. Allow my love to encompass your efforts to help others. Individuals. Any of my priceless kids have succumbed to exhaustion. Their state might be better described as drain out. They are not even aware of how exhausted they have become from their innumerable encounters with the sick. You are one of these tired people like injured warriors in need of rest and recuperation. Spend some time relaxing in my love, filled company. I'll gently give you back the energy you've lost. Over time, come to me, all ye oppressed and tired, and your souls will find rest. The three concepts of waiting, trusting, and hoping are closely related to one another like golden threads linked into a sturdy chain. The main theme is trust, since it is what I most want to hear from my kids in return. Anticipating and praying will adorn the main thread and fortify the link that binds you to me. You can tell that you truly trust me if you're waiting for me to work with your eyes on me. Your words sound hollow if you utter the phrase, I trust you, while frantically trying to get your way. Hoping is focused on the future and helps you connect to your heavenly inheritance. But for now, hope brings you nothing but blessings. Waiting is more than just passing the time when you are mine. You can wait with hopeful trust and with anticipation. Hold out your antennae to detect even the smallest hint of my presence. Permanent peace is my gift to you. Richly it pours forth from my seat of grace. The Israelites were unable to save manna for later use, but I had to collect it every day, so please accept my peace. My people were conscious of their need on me because of the daily manna collection. Similar to that, when you come to me, I grant you enough tranquility for the time being by requesting things in prayer and with gratitude. Should I grant you eternal tranquility? Apart from my existence, you may easily succumb to the temptation of self-reliance. I hope that never happens. You are meant to be dependent on me at all times. Your perception of my bountiful sufficiency grows along with your awareness of your neediness. I don't have to use up any of my resources to satisfy all of your demands. With brave assurance, approach my seat of glory and accept my peace with gratitude in your heart. Spread this video to nine people who have faith by writing Jesus is God in the comments. Loved child, prayer is the lifeblood of your courting with me. It's far the bridge that connects your coronary heart to mine, the sacred space in which you and that I meet. In prayer, you are not speaking into the void. You are speaking with the one who created you, the only who knows you better than you realize yourself. I pay attention every word you speak, every notion you preserve, and every choice of your heart. Prayer isn't a ritual, nor is it a venture to be finished. It's miles a conversation, a talk between you and me. It is an invitation to convey your heart earlier than me, to percentage with me, your joys, your sorrows, your fears, and your hopes. I long which will come to me in prayer, for I delight in hearing from you, simply as a loving parent delights within the voice of their baby.
so too do I pride in listening to from you. So now, not be afraid to deliver something to me in prayer. There is nothing too small, nothing too first-rate that I'm not inclined to pay attention. I care approximately each thing of your lifestyles from the smallest element to the greatest venture. When you come to me in prayer, you aren't burdening me. You're inviting me to be a part of your existence. And I, in flip, am inviting you to agree with me with every part of who you are. In prayer, you will find peace, for in my presence there's fullness of pleasure. Whilst the weight of the world feels heavy to your shoulders, come to me and I can give you rest. Whilst you are confused and uncertain, come to me and I will come up with readability. While you are weary and worn, come to me and I'm able to renew your electricity. I am your shelter, your safe location, your supply of comfort and peace. Prayer isn't always pretty much requesting things. It is about aligning your coronary heart with mine. As you spend time in prayer, you will begin to see the sector through my eyes. You will discover ways to love what I like, to choice what I preference, and to are searching for after my will in all matters. Prayer is the system by means of which your coronary heart is converted to reflect my coronary heart. It's far in this sacred area that I mold you, shape you, and draw you closer to me. Baby, prayer is likewise a effective weapon for your non-secular lifestyles. Via prayer, you've got get entry through to my energy, my know-how, and my authority. While you pray, you are not combating your battles alone. You are inviting me to fight for your behalf. There's strength in prayer to interrupt strongholds to heal the sick, to convey consolation to the brokenhearted, and to transport mountains. Do not underestimate the energy of prayer. Whilst you pray, pray with boldness. You are my child, and I have given you get right of entry to to come back earlier than me with self-assurance. You do now not need to technique me with worry or hesitation. Come boldly to the throne of grace, understanding that I'm ready and inclined to listen you. Ask, and you will obtain, are trying to find, and you may find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. My heart is open to you, and I am keen to pour out my advantages upon you. Prayer isn't a monologue. It's miles I communicate. I'm constantly speak me, usually prepared to guide you, to consolation you, and to present you wisdom. But as a way to pay attention to my voice, you should be nonetheless and concentrate. Take time for your prayers to be quiet before me, to concentrate for my nonetheless small voice. I do now not usually talk inside the loud and dramatic. Often I speak within the quiet moments, within the gentle whisper of my spirit. I'm able to manual you through prayer. When you are uncertain about the direction ahead, come to me and I will lead you. Whilst you are facing difficult decisions are searching for my information in prayer and I will give you readability. While you sense misplaced or unsure, name out to me and I can show you the manner. I am the coolest shepherd and I'm able to lead you beside still waters, making your path directly. In status inside the hole for folks who can't or do not pray for themselves. When you raise others up in prayer, you are appearing as a vessel of my love and beauty of their lives. I listen your prayers for them, and that I reply. Whether or not they are aware of it or not, your prayers can trade the path in their lives, bring recuperation to their hearts, and lead them closer to me. Do now not underestimate the energy of intercession, for via it I'm capable of painting's miracles. Pray for the ones you adore, for their safety, for their properly being, for his or her hearts to be attracted to me. However, additionally pray for people who hurt you, to your enemies, and for folks who oppose you. This too is my way. In praying on your enemies, you replicate my heart of forgiveness and love. When you pray for individuals who persecute you, you align yourself with my son who prayed for folks that nailed him to the moon. Your prayers for others are a reflection of the grace I've poured out upon you. 
comment the Lord is beside me. Do now not grow weary in prayer, even when it appears like I am silent. I pay attention every prayer you provide, and I'm at paintings even while you do no longer see it. My timing is best, and my ways are higher than your approaches. Believe in me and preserve praying, even when the answers seem behind schedule. Occasionally, the ready is a part of my plan for you. Through the procedure of ready, I am coaching you staying power, perseverance, and agree with. Prayer is a journey, toddler, not a destination. It's for an ongoing conversation, a continual communion with me, with a purpose to deepen and grow as you walk with me. Do not be discouraged if you do not continually experience my presence or pay attention my voice within the manner you count on. I am always with you, even within the silence. Once in a while, the finest boom takes place inside the quiet moments, when you discover ways to consider me with no need to peer or hear. Subsequently, remember that prayer isn't pretty much talking. It is also approximately listening. I lengthy to expose my heart to you, to percentage my expertise with you, and to guide you in all things. However, you must be willing to concentrate. Within the stillness of your coronary heart, within the quiet moments of your day, I'm able to communicate to you. I will come up with peace whilst you are, wisdom while you are unsure, and comfort whilst you are weary. Do not rush through prayer as a assignment to be completed. Take time to stay in my presence, to rest within the information that I am with you. In prayer, you may find the electricity you want for every day, the guidance for every day, the guidance for every selection, and the peace that surpasses all knowledge. I am your Father, your Writer, and your God, and I'm usually geared up to listen to you, to talk to you, and to stroll with you via every moment of your existence. My loved baby, the name of the game to a completely happy and fulfilling life lies in gratitude. In a world, this is frequently centered on what is lacking. I name you to cognizance on what you've got been given. Gratitude is the important thing that unlocks the door to contentment, for it shifts your attitude from what is lacking to the abundance of advantages I have poured into your existence. Every exact and best gift comes from me, your Heavenly Father. The air you breathe, the food you consume, the love of family and friends, the splendor of creation. Those are all presents from my hand. But more than those physical advantages, I have given you the gift of eternal existence, the present of my presence, and the present of my unfailing love. You are surrounded with the aid of my goodness, even inside the midst of trials and challenges. While you pick gratitude, you're deciding on to see the world through my eyes. You're choosing to understand my hand in all things, even in the small and apparently insignificant moments of lifestyles. Gratitude is not pretty much giving thanks for the good things, but approximately trusting that even within the difficult times, I am working on your suitable. It's far approximately believing that my plans for your desirable, even while you cannot see the entire photograph. Gratitude brings peace because it reminds you that I'm on top of things. When you give thanks, you are acknowledging that I'm your company, your protector, and your source of strength. You are affirming that you accept as true with me, which you trust in my faithfulness, and which you are assured in my love. In gratitude, you discover contentment, for you understand that in me, you have all that you need. Contentment, infant, isn't determined in the abundance of possessions, nor within the success of worldly fulfillment. It's miles found within the knowledge that I'm with you, that I can in no way depart you, and that I can usually provide for you. The sector will let you know which you want more, which you need to strive for more things. That contentment is usually just out of attain. However, I let you know this. Contentment is found in resting in my love, while you are content material, you're loose from the regular striving that the world promotes. You are now not chasing after things that can't satisfy, however. 
are resting inside the warranty that I am enough for you. Contentment isn't always about complacency or settling for much less. It's far approximately spotting that proper fulfillment comes from me, not from the matters of this global. In me, you've got the entirety you want. There will continually be things in existence that appear incomplete, dreams but to be reached, goals yet to be fulfilled. But do not let these items rob you of the joy of the joy of the present moment. Gratitude permits you to stay completely in the right here and now, to appreciate the blessings of these days without being ate up through the worries of the next day. Contentment is the capability to find pleasure in the adventure, no longer simply the destination. Toddler, I've positioned you in this moment, on this season of your life, for a motive. There may be reason inside the present, and I am running in you and through you, even when it seems like not anything is going on. Agree with in my timing and be content material in the information that I am in control. I see the goals of your heart, and I can satisfy them in my perfect time. But till then, pick out to be thankful for what you've got, and recognize that I am with you every step of the way. Gratitude is also a powerful tool in overcoming the lies of the enemy. While the enemy whispers which you are missing, that you are not enough, which you need to attempt for greater, turn to gratitude. Thank me for who you're for what you've got, and for the approaches I am running in your life. Gratitude silences the voice of the enemy, for it is a declaration of consider in my goodness and faithfulness. Baby, I delight in your gratitude, for it's far an expression of your love and agree with in me. When you provide thanks, you are acknowledging that each blessing in your existence is a gift from my hand. You are spotting that I am the supply of all that is right, and you're deciding on to consciousness on my provision in preference to, to your lack. This pleases me, for it shows that your coronary heart is aligned with mine. As you cultivate a heart of gratitude, you'll locate that your angle on life starts to trade. You may not be driven by means of the need for extra, but will find contentment in my presence. You will begin to see my hand in each issue of your life, and you will be full of pleasure, even inside the midst of trials. For gratitude is the route to peace, and contentment is the fruit of a grateful heart. So, my infant, choose gratitude. Supply thanks in all circumstances, for this is my will for you. Accept as true with in my provision relaxation in my love and understand that in me you've got all which you need. Allow your heart be packed with thanksgiving and you'll enjoy the peace that comes from knowing that I am with you now and for all time. Liked child, elevate up your eyes and spot beyond the horizon of this world for there may be a more promise, an everlasting promise that awaits you. I have now not simplest known as you to live for today, I've referred to as you to stay with eternity in mind. A while in this earth is but a second, a fleeting breath in the grand tale of eternity. However, what you do right here, the way you stay, how you adore, and the way you serve echoes into eternity. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the give up. Before the inspiration of the world, I knew you and I organized an area for you in my eternal country. Your life isn't random or without reason. Each second is a part of my divine plan, and I've promised you a future that extends far beyond the boundaries of this earthly existence. You're an eternal being, created to live with me for all time. The promise I have given you is the promise of everlasting existence. Via my son, I've made a manner on the way to be with me all the time. Loss of life isn't always the give up. It's miles simply the entrance to everlasting life in my presence. This is the desire that anchors your soul, the promise that sustains you within the trials of this international. You are destined for eternity with me, where there can be no extra pain, no more sorrow, and no more tears. Toddler, 
Live with eternity to your coronary heart. Permit the hope of eternal life form the way you stay these days. Do now not be consumed with the aid of the temporary concerns of this world, for they may be passing away. As a substitute, set your coronary heart on things above, where I am seated in glory. Live in any such manner that your life displays the eternal promise you've got acquired, for what is visible is brief. However, what's unseen is eternal. Every act of affection, every second of faithfulness, Every step of obedience is building something everlasting. You may not see the full impact of your life right here on this planet. However, know that nothing is wasted in my kingdom. I am the usage of you to construct a legacy with a purpose to ultimate for eternity. The seeds you plant now, the love you deliver, the sacrifices you're making. They'll undergo fruit for generations to come back and they'll be remembered all the time in my everlasting nation. The eternal promise I've given you isn't pretty much the destiny. It is also approximately the prevailing. Eternal life starts the moment you location your agree with in me. You're already residing in the truth of my country, even as you stroll through the rigors of this international. My spirit is within you, guiding you, empowering you, and reminding you of the desire that is to return. You're in no way alone, for I'm with you now, and forever. And, baby, know this, I am getting ready a place for you. In my father's residence are many rooms, and I've long passed beforehand to prepare an area for you. Whilst a while in this earth is carried out, I'm able to welcome you into my everlasting state, in which you will stay with me in perfect peace, joy, and love. There, you may see me face to face and you may understand the fullness of my glory and love. Until that day comes, stay with the promise of eternity for your heart. Let it manual your selections, your relationships, and your moves. Let the hope of everlasting lifestyles give you power inside the face of trials, comfort in times of sorrow, and pleasure in the midst of challenges. You aren't residing for this world on my own. You are residing for my everlasting nation, in which every tear will be wiped away and every heartache could be healed. This is my promise to you, baby. I will in no way go away you, and I can never forsake you. I'm with you now, and that I could be with you all the time. Keep on to the hope of eternity, for it's far the anchor of your soul. And recognize that I'm working all matters collectively on your correct, each on this existence and in the lifestyles to return. My love for you is everlasting, and my promises are sure. You're mine, and you may be with me forever. Type Amen if you trust in Lord. Dear listener, join this prayer with me, and repeat after me. Divine Creator, as I find myself at a pivotal moment in my professional journey, I approach you with a burdened spirit and a perplexed mind. I trust that there is a purpose for my life and that you desire my success in all my endeavors. Yet I seek your guidance and insight to help me through this significant choice. I humbly ask for your wisdom to assist me in making the best decisions and to guide me along the journey you have laid out for me. Grant me the assurance to chase my aspirations and the resilience to face any challenges that may arise. I have faith in your compassion and your boundless understanding, and I believe that with your guidance I will choose the right path for my career. Thank you for your kindness and support, and for always being there for me. Amen. Amen. Please support our channel. Our goal is to bring happiness in your life and to bring devotion and reverence towards God. And if you want, you can donate us through Super Thanksy.